I am excited to finally share with you guys one of my most fun throw caution to the wind and just have fun with it makes of 2020. How adorable did this little pajama romper turn out, right? Since I'm spending a lot of time in pajamas right now, I figured I might as well make it cute. But seriously, tell me I couldn't sleep in this, roll out of bed, get the mail, accept a package, maybe get some Postmates for lunch, and have a Zoom call all without changing and still look like I somewhat have my life together. <laughs> The pattern is McCall's 6848. It's pretty old and is out of print now, but it was pretty popular, so you can find a few copies on eBay and Etsy. The pattern is actually a top, a pair of shorts, this romper, and an eye mask. And you have seen it on my channel before, especially if you've watched videos from way back in the beginning. I have made all of these garments at one point or another, but never the romper until now. Originally, the romper's waist seam is super low, like it hits at the high hip, and that's probably the most unflattering waist seam of all, so I had to raise that seam up a few inches so that it would hit at my natural waist. This also meant I needed to shorten the waist of the bodice. Speaking of the bodice, you'll notice that the original romper design is, uh, the bodice is a low neck tank top, but I really wanted mine to have some kind of sleep. So I swapped out the bodice that was originally intended for the romper and paired it with the top pattern instead. The tank bodice gives you enough room to slip it on and off your hips because the neckline is so low, but the top design does not. That neckline is much higher and smaller. So I needed to add a point of entry and exit <laughs> to the romper. I decided to finish one of the shoulder seams like you would a button band, and I added some cam snaps to that. So the whole left shoulder seam comes apart, making it super easy to get in and out of. The hem of the shorts has a really cute curved hem, but it does cause the shorts to be a little more open at the hem than most people might be comfortable with. That's an easy enough thing to change. You can totally hem them like normal pair of shorts, so don't let that deter you from making this pattern. As for fabric, I used two cotton knits for this romper. I had intended to make the entire thing from the Aztec print fabric, but I just didn't have enough. And this is where the whole like throw caution to the wind thing comes because I just didn't overthink it. You know, I was like, well, I don't have a lot of this print, so let's go into the stash and find something that would look good with it. Thankfully, I had this kind of like mid-weight uh, cotton knit um, in just a solid black so they went really well together but I'm not even sure where I got the print from and I don't I really don't know why I got so little of it I can only think that it was a remnant and that I got it for a really good price you know like on clearance or something but what was I even going to make with this originally? It's so not like anything else in my closet. So that also made it perfect for a pajama outfit because I'm not really leaving the house in it. Um, I had just enough of the print to uh, do the ruffle of the short as well, which I think just really kind of ties it all in together and makes the use of the two different fabrics, the solid and the print, a little more intentional. But that is it for this little outfit. Sunny had such a great time being in the video over the weekend and loved hearing all of your comments about him. So he decided he wanted to make another appearance today. He was pretty much at my feet the whole time I was out there filming today. So here you go. Another little look at my old man. His poor face has food all over it because he can't see the food in his bowl. He can only smell it. 
So he basically just face plants into the bowl and into the food to grab a bite and gets it all over his like chin and jaw area. Poor thing. Anyway, that's going to do it for me and Sunny today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.